Thank you for joining us. For KHSD News, I'm Erin Briscoe-Clark. This week, sophomores and juniors return to their school campuses. The class of 2022 and the class of 2023 joined seniors and freshmen. Campuses are now complete with all grade levels back. Students say it's been a long time coming. We asked how they felt returning and what they look forward to. Uh, a little bit nervous, but also excited. My grades up and meeting new friends. I'm feeling better because I can actually focus on assignments. We wish all students the best of luck during the final few weeks of the school year. The Kern High School District is proud to partner with Kern Public Health and Kern Medical to host mobile COVID-19 vaccine clinics at several school sites. Golden Valley and Foothill hosted mobile clinics last week. This week, Arvin and Shafter High opened their doors. Students 16 and older, their parents, and members of the community were given the opportunity to receive the COVID vaccine at no cost. Two more clinics are being held next week. On Tuesday, May 4th, Miramonte High School will host a vaccine clinic from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. And on Wednesday, May 5th, North High School will host a clinic in the cafeteria from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. Students need to pre-register and provide a parent consent form. Adult walk-ups are welcome during the clinic hours. Thank you for helping keep our community safe by doing your part in reducing the number of COVID cases. We are all in this together. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Over the next month, we will be sharing stories and resources from our communities to raise awareness for those living with mental health conditions and to help reduce the stigma so many experience. We begin by introducing you to a group of Independence High School students who created a peer support group called Talk to a Teen. Meet America Hernandez Ramos, Sebastian Cruz, Kieran Oba, and Riddick Kumar. These four Independence High School students have been volunteering their time this past year for a special project near and dear to their hearts called Talk to a Teen. Talk to a Teen is a teen-led peer support group that is meant to provide peer-to-peer -peer guidance to teens that are on campus. So by talking about mental health topics and relating to one another, it allows students to understand that they are not alone and um, they're able to talk with students and just realize that there are others around their age that are going through similar situations as them. Talk to a Teen is a project organized by Independence's NAMI Club. The motto is created by teens, ran by teens, made for teens. They did this all. I mean, I was there to encourage them and I was there to say this is awesome, but I'm giving them all the credit. I think one of their strengths is just um, being really flexible. Um, and kind of like uh, in a fearless kind of way because, you know, they wanted to help out students, but like there's a lot of unknown. These unknowns ended up blossoming into a beautiful project that is making a difference on campus. The peer group meets virtually every week. It is led by the four student facilitators with an adult guide on hand. We help them with um, any questions that they may have. Um, when we are in the meeting, there's always an adult present. Um, so we're just making sure that, you know, everything's going well. Um, if there's any questions from the students, they're able to ask us. Or if we need to jump in as well, um, we will do that as well, just to make sure that everybody is safe. The student facilitators say this experience has also been good for their mental health. Because definitely we've learned during this pandemic that being alone is not the easiest thing. And by joining Talk to a Teen as a facilitator, I was really able to see the difference in my mental health, like from talking, being able to talk to people from when I was all isolated and not talking to anyone. The group is open to all students. The facilitators say they will continue to spread the word and encourage students not to be ashamed to ask for help. For those students out there who are struggling and uh, feel a little bit alone or overwhelmed, I definitely say to them that they are not alone. Um, those friends that they may have um, that they think don't feel alone or overwhelmed, probably do feel alone and overwhelmed. We're all in the same boat. No one's lived through this before us. And um, if you have a problem, there's someone with an answer. By keeping this group going, we're not only uh, changing the lives of our current students, our, pres our present students, but also we're having, we're, and we're creating a space for for our future students that would come, come at Independence High School. Just go to independence.kernhigh.org 
uh, under resources uh, for students and then you will see talk to a team and there will be a Google form. You can view more stories and find resources and supports throughout the month of May on our website, kernhigh.org. Um, often we do have some, some very specific goals competing for a league title. I had no idea this year where we would land and where other teams would land too. Um, you know, we are sitting there after three weeks with an undefeated record and we're really hoping we can continue it. Um, if we can, great. If, if not, this is the first year that that wasn't really the goal. Um, the goal has really been focusing on individuals getting to, to finish their four years of, of swim and setting some, some personal best. I think that it's really great because at first we thought we weren't going to finish our last year of swim, which we we're really sad about. And then now that we get to actually finish it, it's really great to be back in the water too. We bond very well, like we're all so close because I feel like if we weren't close, Everyone wouldn't be willing to help each other, but since we're so close, we all like support each other and encourage each other to do better. Since it's our last year. It's, well, for most of us, it's our last year, so we, we're, we're giving it our all since it's our last year. I can't speak for any other school, but I know our school has always had a deep connection with each other, so I think that has also helped in pushing each other constantly. Um, my hope for the season this year is that we continue to stay undefeated and that you know in the next year they all can stay as close as we are now. Congratulations to the following KHSD virtual enterprise firms for advancing to the virtual enterprise international championship rounds. Stockdale High's firm Arachne Apparel Human Resource Team took home first place in the National Human Resources Competition. Bakersfield High School's firm Trekkers Business Plan Team finished in the top 20. The marketing team placed third in the National Marketing Competition. Centennial High's firm Obsidian had its finance team advance to the finals of the finance competition. Job well done and way to represent Kern County. The inaugural Kern Codes competition took place recently. The event was hosted by the Kern County Superintendent of Schools. Students from seven Kern County middle and high schools tested their knowledge about computer programming. Here's a look at the high school results. Individual high school category. First place, Ethan Connor Centennial High School. Second place, Harjasal Brar Stocktail High School. Third place, Daniel Martinez, Bakersfield High School. And the top group high school went to Bakersfield High, Nick Jensen, Maddie Witt, and Sam Munoz. Celebrating Trojans, mental health awareness, honoring elders in our community. Those are just a few important topics Foothill ASB students featured in Trojan Times, a new monthly newsletter. The students wanted to come up with a way to share news happening around campus. That's where the idea for the digital newsletter came about. Students volunteer to write columns on what interests them. Two digital issues have already come out and can be found on the school's Instagram page or the school website under the activities section. And finally, Frontier High School students and staff collected over 5,000 buttons and delivered them to the Shabbat of Bakersfield. The buttons will be used to create the first Holocaust Memorial in the Central Valley. The project includes constructing a memorial using 6 million buttons along a walkway in the back of the Shabbat Jewish Community Center. Each button will represent a precious life lost during the Holocaust. Here, you could see KHSD Board of Trustees President Jeff Flores getting a tour of the center and learning more about the future memorial. The center says the memorial serves to inspire everyone to do better and be kinder. The community center is still in need of buttons. To learn more about the project and how you can help the center reach its goal, call 661-834-1512 or visit shabbatbakersfield.com slash button memorial. And that's going to do it for this week's KHSD News. Don't forget to follow us online at kernhigh.org and on Twitter at KHSD underscore official. See you next week.